Hey miners, now that you've learned how to set yourself up to mine at hash, I'm going to walk you through how to configure your worker to mine Kapow, another algorithm that's available for you to mine with your GPU through ProHashing. This information and more is available, as Steve mentioned, in the GPU Quick Start Guide on the ProHashing website in the Help section under Guides. The link is also available in the video details down below. As Steve went over earlier, the first thing you're going to need to do, if you haven't already, is download Gminer. You can use other softwares if you prefer, but those are outside of the scope of this video. I'm going to assume that you've already downloaded Gminer, but if you haven't, you can go back to the download Gminer chapter of this video and watch Steve go over it, or you can go to the GPU Quick Start Guide on the website, scroll to step one, download Gminer, and follow the instructions here. If you're using Chrome or Firefox, you'll have to give the browser extra permission to download the file because it's going to be incorrectly flagged as malicious. You can go into your downloads in that dot at the top right of Chrome, and then if yours has been flagged, there will be a note on here that you need to give permission for the file to be downloaded. If you don't want to go through those extra steps, you can use Microsoft Edge as your browser, and then it won't require you to give permission for the file to be downloaded. If you have trouble downloading with the config file disappearing, it may be that Windows Defender or your antivirus has quarantined the file, so you'll need to go in and add the folder as an exception and re-download the file. If you're having trouble figuring out how to do this, I do go over it in our CPU video, so check that out. Your second step after downloading Gminer is to modify the start script. If you were watching Steve earlier setting up at hash, Kopow is going to be very similar. You can use any text editor you feel comfortable with, but we're using Notepad because it comes free with Windows computers. Instead of opening up mineeth.bat, we're going to open up mineravencoin.bat this time in our text editor. When you open the file, you'll see some default values that come with the file, and we'll need to configure our worker to pro hashing to mine. As you can see, the algo is set up to Kopow, but we're going to set the server to pro hashing. dot com port 3361 because that's the algorithm specific port for Kopow at ProHashing. Under user, we're going to put your username. In this case, I'm going to use our sample worker. And then to get the pass arguments we're going to need, we're going to head back over to ProHashing's website to look at the worker configurator. On the ProHashing website, you can get to the worker configurator by clicking on Tools and Worker Configurator. The link's also in the video details down below. When you go to Worker Information, you want to check that the manufacturer is set to not listed slash GPU slash CPU because we're mining with the GPU. When Steve recorded the section on ethash earlier, it said custom, but it's been updated since then to make it clearer for GPU and CPU miners. We're going to change the algorithm to Kopow, and I'm going to leave the hash rate blank for now because we haven't been mining Kopow yet, but if you already have an estimated hash rate for your worker while mining Kopow, you could put it in here. I'm going to scroll down in the advanced options to set a worker name. This is the nickname for your worker and is not required, but it's important because it identifies your worker in the dashboard and allows us to display your worker's charts in your account. If you'd like to track workers in a group, for example, if you're using a CPU and a GPU to mine from the same computer or laptop, you can enter a group name here, but I'm going to skip that for now. You can also choose to track electricity by checking on this box and putting in the wattage of your machine and your electric 
electricity cost, which you could get off of your electricity bill. Now you can see your password arguments over here in the Copal Worker configuration. So we can copy these and head back over to the bat file in Notepad. Now we're back in the MindRavenCoin.bat file. We're going to type in after user dash dash pass. And we're going to put in an L argument, which is the amount of video memory for your graphics card. I'm going to put in six because I have a six gigabyte card. And then I'm going to paste in the rest of the arguments that I got from the worker configurator. The A argument is the algorithm. It's not required here because we're using an algorithm specific port for Kaupau. If you'd like to read more about the password arguments and how they work with ProHashing, there's more information in our documentation under the help section of the website. The W password argument is the wattage, the P is the electricity, and the N is your worker name. It looks like we're all set. We've finished updating our configuration and we're going to save the file and close out of Notepad. Now we're ready for step three, which is to start mining. You can simply double click on the mine ravencoin.bat file to start mining Kaupau, but you can increase your hash rate by running this file as an administrator if you have those privileges. So we're going to do that by right clicking on the file and clicking run as administrator. Mine ravencoin.bat, right click, run, in, run as administrator. Going to give it permission, and here we go. As you can see, the box popped up with the DAG calculating. And once the worker has computed the necessary data and the DAG has been generated, the miner will start mining, which looks like this. There we go. Now that our worker is mining for us, we can head over to the ProHashing website. I've already logged in as our sample miner and I can now head over to the dashboard and here we can see our test worker is running. It's using Kaupau and we're waiting for more shares. As it gains a couple more shares, we'll be able to see our hash rate up here in the top right corner. Voila, we're mining for pro hashing. At this point, I've stopped my worker for now so that I can continue talking to you because my worker makes my video go a little funky since it's using my graphics card. You may be wondering how to choose between at hash and Kaupau at this point. If you've already calculated your worker's hash rate for each algorithm, you can use ProHashing's worker configurator to find out how profitable each algorithm would probably be for you. If you don't already know your hash rate, you can mine each algorithm for about five minutes or so to calculate your hash rate, and then you can head over to the worker configurator. Since this one's already set up for Kaupau, I'm going to put in a hash rate that I calculated earlier without the video camera running. And once that's in, I had already put in my electricity cost so I can come up here and I can see that I could estimate an overall profit of about 16, 17 cents a day. Now, if I come in here and I change it over to at hash, 
and put in my normal hash rate for that algorithm. The electricity is still set up. The estimated overall profit here would be 18 cents. So this gives us an overall idea of the ability of each algorithm at a given time. It can shift back and forth because these things do. So you may want to check once in a while to make sure you're mining the right algorithm for you.